a $500 payment to those facing housing affordability challenges. Dental care for Canadian families. Doubling support provided through the First Time Home Buyers Tax Credit, a multi generational home renovation tax credit, Mr. Here. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Miramichi Grand Lake. Mr. Speaker, pain at the pumps is a reality across Canada, including in my riding. As Canadian gas prices soar to record highs, Putin fuels his war by selling Russian energy to the Democratic West. Yet this Liberal Prime Minister and the New Brunswick Liberal MPs are doubling down on a failed climate agenda that has not met a single emission target. Will the Prime Minister admit the carbon tax has failed and give Canadians a break at the pumps? The Honourable Minister of the Environment. Speaker, and I would like to remind my honourable colleague that according to the parliamentary budget officer, eight out of ten Canadians are better off with carbon pricing. They receive more money from carbon pricing and emissions are going down, Mr. Speaker. Look at the 2019 inventory, 2020 inventory. Emissions are going down. Our plan to fight climate change is working. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The honourable member for Miramichi Grand Lake. Scale the wall, my friend. Mr. Speaker. Without pulling up to a pump and paying for the gas himself, the Prime Minister is utterly out of touch with the struggles Canadians are faced with. With the affluent means available to him, the Prime Minister truly doesn't understand that struggling mothers are having to choose between nutritious food or fueling the family vehicle to get to work. Will the Prime Minister finally admit today that his economic policies are what is driving up the cost of fuel and food across this country? Minister of Families. Mr. Speaker, that member knows very well that in his province of New Brunswick, we have now reduced child care fees by 50 per cent. Thanks to you. What a great idea. In fact, that means hundreds of dollars each month in the pockets of the mothers that he is talking about. When it comes to the Canada Child Benefit, for a single mom, that could mean almost $7,000 a year. Mr. Speaker, that's real money for families that need it when it comes to the high cost of living. We have been there since 2015 and will continue to be there for them every step of the way. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What a great answer.